Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Earhart mystery still mysterious. CAF Corsair rumbles back to life. And Hawaii Mars wants to fight fires again. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's July 13th, 2017, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Investigators for a UK newspaper say that a photograph central to a documentary which aired Sunday on the History Channel about Amelia Earhart does not show the lost aviatrix about to board a boat on the island of Jalut in the Pacific Marshall Islands. The photo shows a group of people on a jetty on a Pacific island. It was allegedly found in the National Archives in a Navy file by Les Kinney, but investigators for the paper say that the photo was taken after 1940, three years after Earhart's Lockheed Electra went down. The paper says it had access to the same photo a year ago, and it was determined that it was taken well after Earhart and navigator Fred Noonan vanished. The investigator also said that the body shapes of the woman and man thought to be Earhart and Noonan do not match other photos of the pair. Another Earhart investigator, Mike Campbell, told the paper that the people in the photograph are absolutely not Earhart and Noonan. Descendants of Marshall Islanders who claim to have seen two Americans being escorted onto a Japanese ship off the island of Mili were not allowed to get off the ship when it was called at Jalu. An FG-1D Corsair that is being restored by the Dixie Wing of the Commemorative Air Force rumbled back to life last week. The CAF Dixie Wing notes that we have been waiting to hear this sound for a long time. After one year since her last flight, our FG-1D Corsair is alive again. This afternoon at Warboard Adventures, Tom Richard tested the engine. The test went smooth and now she is only a few tweaks away from her first flight post-restoration. Supported by donations for such projects, this has been an expensive one. They are soliciting donations for the project through their website. The CAF Dixie Wing Museum, a 100% volunteer organization, has launched a campaign to replace the engine and start an overhaul of the aircraft's airframe and subsystems. This work, which will take six months and over $100,000, is an important first step, they explained. The CAF's aircraft are obtained through direct donations of aircraft and through purchases made by the CAF. Our aircraft are not provided or given to the CAF by any government entity. When significant and historic aircraft become available, this fund provides a means for the CAF to add historic aircraft to its operational fleet and, more importantly, to keep them in flying condition. After the break, Hawaii Mars wants to firefight again. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Errol TV, the new AMA Drone Report, our website, or podcast, just email to newsdaspy at errol-news.net. The Colson Group, which owns the Hawaii Mars water bomber, still has hopes of getting the airplane in the air, fighting fires this summer. But so far, CEO Wayne Colson says that they've heard nothing from the government of the British Columbia about using the airplane. Colson said that he was hoping that the new government that is coming into Victoria will look at how the firefighting contracts are done and that it will be a fair process. But so far, they've got no nibbles on using the Hawaii Mars, which 
which has not fought a fire in the province since 2015. Colson said that the company has also offered up three helicopters for use fighting fires in the province. One, an S-76 command and control helicopter saw service in Australia this summer. It is approved to fight fires at night using NVG technology. Colson said that while he hopes the Hawaii Mars will see some action during this fire season, right now it's down for maintenance. He said the airplane bumped the bottom of the lake recently and the repairs are still being finalized. It's Thursday, which means that it's time for an Aero Community Update, highlighting news and information about the incredible people and organizations that populate the Airborne Partnership Initiative behind Airborne Unlimited. We have something really cool to announce. Now, anyone that attends EAA Air Venture 2017 has the opportunity to partner with us in a program we're calling Hashtag Osh 17 Cool. Here's the deal. Despite the fact that we'll be staff to the hilt at Air Venture this year, sometimes we just don't see all of the coolest things that are there. Here's where anyone at Ashkosh can partner with us by tweeting something you see or hear or feel that you think is just the coolest thing, including a picture or video with your tweet is even better. When we say the coolest thing, we mean anything, not just some big bad airplane. It might be as simple as a home-built airplane with some some little detail that made you say, oh, that's so cool. Or it could be some visiting airplane that you've never seen before. Or it might be something on a vendor's table that you just can't live without. It could also be a person or an event. No matter what it is, big or small, if your this is so cool light comes on, remember, Hashtag Osh17Cool. When we receive a hashtag Osh17Cool tweet, whatever or whoever it is will receive a special recognition from a and so that everyone knows this really is cool. After these messages, Hartzell expands again. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. In the past year, Hartzell Propeller has expanded its global reach. Through a multi-year, multi-million dollar investment in advanced aerodynamics and manufacturing techniques, using state-of-the-art composite and aerospace-grade materials, the company has begun its second century of propeller making. By focusing our attention on large fleets of turboprops and piston-driven aircraft, Hartzell continues to develop the highest performing and most up-to-date propellers that can be found anywhere on the planet, said Hartzell Propeller President Joe Brown. When it comes to the distant universe, even the keen vision of NASA's Hubble Space Telescope can only go so far. Teasing out finer details requires clever thinking and a little help from a cosmic alignment with a gravitational lens. By applying a new computational analysis to a galaxy magnified by a gravitational lens, astronomers have obtained images 10 times sharper than what Hubble could achieve on its own. The Airline Pilots Association will host a reception for aspiring airline pilots as part of this year's 10th anniversary Women Venture Week at Air Venture. Slate it for Friday, July 28, 2017 from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. The reception has as its goal to have young pilots hear the experiences of active pilots for the major carriers ALPA represents and have their questions about a career as an airline pilot answered. A spending bill under consideration by the House Appropriations Committee would boost the budget 
for the FAA's Office of Commercial Space Transport by $1.7 million. That would make the overall budget for the AST $21.58 billion in fiscal year 2018. The markup hearing was held Tuesday. Piaggio Aerospace recently resumed flight test activity for the second prototype of its P1HH Hammerhead, the state-of-the-art multipurpose UAS at Bergi Military Airport in Trapani. P1HH is a UAS designed for aerial marine and terrestrial surveillance and reconnaissance. Entirely designed, developed, and manufactured in Italy, P1HH is the only remotely piloted medium-altitude long endurance system in Europe. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's get back to the rest of the news. Published annually by AEA, the 2017 through 18 edition of the Pilot's Guide to Avionics will be unveiled with free distribution at EAA's AirVenture Oshkosh in Wisconsin, July 24th through 30th. AEA will distribute thousands of complimentary copies at the AEA's AirVenture booth in Hangar B at Whitman Regional Airport. This year marks the 15th annual edition of the Pilot's Guide to Avionics, a consumer's directory loaded with educational articles, timely information, and data about the wonderful world of avionics technologies. The publication helps pilots and aircraft owners make better buying decisions and locate nearly 1,300 AEA member companies in more than 40 countries, including government-certified repair stations specializing in maintenance, repair, and installation of avionics avionics and electronic systems and general aviation aircraft. It also includes the manufacturers and distributors of these products as well as technical schools and universities, engineers, and consultants for the industry. With the FAA's mandate for aircraft flying in controlled airspace to equip with ADSB out avionics by January 1st, 2020, this publication covers the topic in depth and provides answers to frequently asked questions. Individuals residing in the United States also may request a free copy of the AEA's Pilot's Guide to Avionics Online. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited streams daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Keep flying. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>